Live from the San Jose McHenry Convention Center, it's The Cube at Open Compute Project U.S. Summit 2015. Okay, welcome everyone. Hello, welcome to theCUBE, our flagship program. We go out to the events and extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier, my co-host Jeff Frick, here today at the Open Compute Project Summit 2015, hashtag OCP Summit 2015, where we are broadcasting live all day, wall to wall from 12 to seven o'clock tonight. Um, guests packed, in-depth coverage, going deep into the open source of hardware. Huge announcements. This is where the next unicorns are. This is a small industry that's exploding under the Braveheart theme of freedom. That's the big, big message from Facebook's top management and also tons of news. Uh, HP, Facebook, Microsoft, startups. In this crowd, there's the next unicorn. This is where the battleground is, is Jeff, for our next generation infrastructure, software-defined data center. Down deep in the stack is all the new innovations. Systems on a chip, in-memory analytics, all this awesome stuff's going on. In the next year or two, we'll set the stage for the next decade or two for innovation. So, um, great event, exciting lineup. Um, what are we seeing? Yeah, John, it reminds me of uh, three years ago, our first trip up the OpenStack network up in Portland, and when that was really starting to gain momentum, and we weren't sure if it was going to go, and now look at where OpenStack is today. Open Compute Project is really interesting. What I think is really wild, having sat through the keynotes this morning, is something that Jeff talked about at Big Data SV, and the difference of open source is that the actual practitioners can drive a lot of the innovation. And Open Compute Project, as most people here probably know, but not necessarily all of our audience, was really came out of Facebook. In the keynote, they actually brought out the little napkin from lunchtime where they started the first Open Compute Project spec. So the fact that so much innovation is being driven from the practitioners and then they're opening that up really for the greater good because tremendous cost savings, efficiencies, and now you see Intel and a lot of these other HP jumping on board. It's a pretty exciting time and it really kicks off our whole open season, John, as we head into Open Networking Summit, Open Compute Project, it's good stuff. Yeah, and Jeff, as you know, the is on the ground covering all the events. I mean, I can't even count the events and we've been to the past, it's our fifth season. Thousands of people we've interviewed and the Cube alumni are everywhere now stacking up. And you know, here it's the battleground of the networking, software-defined networking, the cloud, all coming together. So we're super excited, but you know, we got a big day today, but I want to spend some time to just share my thoughts on our fallen comrades at GigaOM. Yesterday it was announced by the staff and then confirmed by Ohm Malik that GigaOM shut its doors down at 5 p.m. It's actually laying off all their employees or firing all their employees. They're winding down the assets, they're all in receivership with the owners, they're not filing bankruptcy. Uh, but everyone is now out of work at GigaOM, and uh, you know, we respected GigaOM. We looked to their news coverage. They broke a lot of news in our area in the enterprise. We would pivot off that and trend connect with them and collaborate with them. We viewed them as somewhat competitive, but not really. We love, love some of their work. I want to say, uh, hope everyone finds a nice place. If anyone's looking for work, SiliconANGLE's hiring. Again, the Cube office in Palo Alto and Marlboro and Dallas are all hiring and uh, if anyone's looking for an opportunity, we'd love to, love to talk to you. Certainly we need more analysts and writers on theCUBE. I, mean, I can imagine Barb and Derek Harris on theCUBE um, battling it out, that would be very interesting. <laughs> but Om Malik, you know, when we started together, when I started PodTech in 2004, Arrington started TechCrunch in 2005, you started GigaOM in 2006, uh, really we were the first class, you know, um, Evan Williams with Odeo, really touches my heart and I think you know, we're going to do our best at SiliconANGLE to use our resources to preserve the content and see if we can't keep it all alive and do whatever we can. So we're open to talking and, and reaching out to us if you need anything. And again, to all the folks at GigaOM, we wish you well in your next endeavor. So Jeff, back to Open Compute. This is going to be a great show. Again, I'm super excited because this is where the action is for the money. If you look at the VCs, they're all here. I'm seeing smart money walking around here looking for the next operating system. There are, there are companies out here that are going to win big and some that are going to lose big. It is a land grab at the fabric level of orchestration in the software-defined data center around handling systems and software with hardware. It's going to be exciting. It's going to be a great day, John. We've got a full lineup. Basically, all the keynotes, if you watched the keynotes earlier today, are coming on. We've got people from Intel, HP, Cole Crawford's coming on from the foundation. Of course, Frank Prakowski's coming on. Facebook, Microsoft, Rackspace, 
uh, folks from the foundation. So it's going to be a great day. We got <laughs> the planes are backing up, so I think we got to cut over and get to our first guest. Okay, we'll be right back with our next guest. We got Facebook coming on. A lot of really, really super awesome open source things going on from the big web scale guys, the founders who basically built DevOps. The Yahoo's, the Facebooks, the Intels, all these guys who are doing all that killer work now bring into the enterprise in an open source framework. And again, this is theCUBE. We go out to where the action is, extract the signal from the noise. I'm John Furrier with Jeff Frick. We'll be right back with our next guest after this short break. <laughs>